we got to talk about the Batman premiere because the stars all came out. They walked the red carpet for the new premiere of the Batman. Robert Pattinson looked dapper, you guys, in this I long black that. trench coat. I'm feeling yes. Peaky Blinders vibes. Yeah. I'm into it. Okay, Zoe uh, Kravitz, dang. come on now. Took a page from her Catwoman character in this Oscar de la Rente gown. But everyone is talking about her stepdad, Jason Momoa, who came out in support with his two kids that he shares with a strange wife, Lisa Bonet. But he told Entertainment Tonight that Lisa couldn't be there, but he and Lisa are, quote, still family. Jason and Lisa announced their split back in January, but lately there have been rumors that the two are working things out. You're shaking your head, Jeff. This guy just seems like a class act all around, right? I know you've met him and we have not, I have nothing but nice things to say about him and him, whether they're together or not together, it's, it's about family. All this other stuff on the side that people want to talk about, Instagram about, I'm going to be there for my family no matter what people at home think about me. That's the same way Jason Momoa seems to me. He seems like a guy's guy or a woman's guy or whatever we're talking about today, that representative for that group of people. He's with me. I'm with Team Jason. I, actually, I want Momoa of him. I would say this. You know what it is? He's, you had to go there, huh? I know. That was <laughs> I would thank you. I, do, I think he's evolved. He's just an evolved guy. It's like divorce used to be like, dun, dun, dun. And he's just showing us a new version that's just so much more flexible, malleable, workable, and loving. And I think it's great. I think he's a cool dude. I got to push back on you. I'm going to put Jason aside because you know I love Jason you and love I love his Jason. family. That's his Ohana, as he would call them. But you got on Gwyneth Paltrow when she wanted to be very evolved yeah, about what her divorce. What did she call it? Conscious, Conscious uncoupling. uncoupling. Give me a break. First of all, <laughs> give me a Okay, a holler. you can just... Because I consciously uncoupled. I know, but did you say that? I did. You oh, said I absolutely uncoupled. Absolutely, I said that. Oh, because, well, well, first of all, because every judgy Judy and Joe wants to, like you say, oh, you know, we're separated, we're divorced. Oh. Yeah. So I'm like, we consciously uncoupled. You How about that? that? I absolutely said it. Yes, because it also saved me some time. I don't want to go into the X's and O's of what happened. First of all, Rando, who just decided to jump into my whole entire existence Judy. because you haven't seen a picture of somebody on Instagram in a year. Like, no. <laughs> so I'm like, great. That worked. Effective. I know a lot of people who went that same route. Yes. I'm conscious not saying, uncoupled. Wow. I'm not saying that. You want some more of that? No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not saying that she's wrong with the idea of it. I'm saying she always has to be trendy with the words and I'm not going against it. It's just, it was very like a goop article. Like, let's consciously uncouple. If you said it in your normal person, that's fine. For me, it grinded my nerves. <laughs>